Hi, in this video I want to show you how to use this VTMDB converter. Uh, this is my website, I will leave a link in the description. To find converter I can do I can type in search CSP to MDB. Just click on uh, the uh, converter page, double click on download to start downloading process. And wait until uh, archive will be downloaded on my local computer. Then I click on downloaded archive. Double click on MSI inside archive to start the installation. Click on more info on the screen. I'm getting the screen because I'm not registered publisher. You can see publisher unknown, so I'll just click run anyway to start the installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and click on finish. Now you can see app has been installed on my computer. I have a shortcut on my desktop. Uh, now I can close this and run this. And I can double click on shortcut to launch the app. Conversion is a three steps process. On first step one, we have to select input CSV file. Click to select the input file and navigate to file I want to convert into MDB. For example, this one packet here. Open. Click on next step. Here I can specify if first row of the input file has column names. Some CSV files has column names. So Usually they do have, so I keep this che checked. Uh, if I want to create new MS Access database, on select existing MS Access database, I have to select file here, but I will create new, click on next step here, and click on run on step 3. Now um, it's asking me location of database, MDB database, and name. I will leave it as it is, just click save. And you can see uh, database is created. Now let's go and see my database. This one. So I don't have access, but I'm using uh, my MDB viewer. I will leave link on this MDB viewer too if you want to. It's just simple app. You can select a table from here and it shows data in, into this table. And then I can export into different format if I want to. But you can see the Otmoy data is converted and, uh, to MDB file, and MDB file is viewable. So yeah, basically that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.